reserved for those who possess power without compassion, might without morality, and strength without insight. Dr. Bernard Lafayette's life embodies this fierce urgency of now. He understands that injustice will only yield to action, but that action must be guided by an ethical compass that it is as compassionate as it is resolute. He understands that the greatest threat to tyranny is a principled display of love that encourages the worst of us to seek counsel from our better angels. He understands that our life's value is measured not by the accumulation of financial wealth, but how we use our precious time to aid those who are most in need. I am honored to introduce Dr. Bernard Lafayette as the 2014 Georgia Speaker of the Year. While a student at the American Baptist Theological Seminary in Nashville in the late 1950s, he trained in nonviolent methods with his roommate, our U.S. Representative to Congress, and a former Georgia Speaker of the Year as well, John Lewis. In 1960, Mr. Lafayette co-founded the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, better known as STIC, a coalition of students in southern states who organized sit-ins at lunch counters, public swimming pools, and movie theaters. In 1967, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. appointed him as the SCLC's National Program Coordinator, where he oversaw the Poor People's Campaign that was launched in 1968. Dr. Lafayette is an iconic civil rights leader who bore witness to the worst that humanity had to offer and responded with its best. We see this recognition as the 2014 Georgia Speaker of the Year as a very small token of our appreciation of his more than five decades of global nonviolent activism in the most trying of circumstances. This man is a survivor of some of the most vile and violent clashes and hostile repression that any activist has ever seen. In 1960, he was arrested at lunch counters and sit-ins in Nashville as a 20-year-old college student. A year later, he participated in the Freedom Rides to challenge the segregation of interstate buses in the South, even though activists were routinely harassed and beaten by mobs operating under the protection of local law enforcement. He organized voter registration projects in Alabama and Mississippi that were often besieged by violence. He survived an assassination plot in 1960 on the night that Megger Evers was killed. He participated in the Bloody Sunday marches in Selma, Alabama in 1965, steadfastly adhering to the principles of nonviolence while under the constant threat of death from local and state police officers. Ah to see what he has seen, to hear what he has heard, to feel what he has felt. We honor Dr. Lafayette because in a very real and profound way, the pain that he has felt has sowed the seeds for our presence here today. Our ability to peacefully come together and civilly engage one another this weekend is a testament to the effectiveness of his lifelong work. As we struggle to find mutuality and communicate across our differences, Dr. Lafayette's work demonstrates the power of love as a redemptive force and a guide for social progress. Dr. King once argued that the hope of a secure and livable world lies with the disciplined dis nonconformists who are dedicated to justice and peace. Yes, indeed, they are. There is no denying the impact that this disciplined nonconformist is having on the world. Today, Dr. Lafayette is a distinguished senior scholar of residence 
in the Candler School of Theology at Emory University, and he continues to be guided by the final marching orders of Dr. King on the day in which he was assassinated. Go forth, institutionalize and internationalize nonviolence. That charge has taken him to Colombia, Nigeria, and various parts of the world where he trains populist movements in nonviolent resistance tactics. Dr. Lafayette once wrote of Dr. King that he showed how quiet strength can overcome violence, how courage can overcome fear, and how peace can overcome awful hate. Dr. Lafayette, you, sir, are cut from the very same cloth. Please join the Barclay Forum in congratulating the 2014 Georgia Speaker of the Year, Dr. Bernard Lafayette, Jr.